Logan Edwards getting the nod, while Josh Round with some work commitments. So Nathan the Answer Anderson, second straight start. No scoring till midway through the first. Jordan Dr. Ray going to squeak this by Edwards, giving his team a huge 1-0 lead early. But nearly exactly one minute later on the power play, Joshua Robinson jumps the flex and ties this game up at one apiece. Eventful second half of the frame, no call up. 15 year old Sam Schneider fires this on net. Edwards likely wishes he could have that one back as the junior Canucks regain their lead late in the first. But about 40 seconds later, the answer out to play the puck. Bad pass, not really helped out though by his team. Austin Braid claps it into the empty net. Huskies tied up once again. Puffs would net one more to lead 3 2 after one. Five goals in the last half of the first. Junior C is looking for the equalizer, but Edwards there, one of 14 stops in the second, and jumped to the third. Wyatt Warren's second game with the team throws it on net. Goalie can't get enough on it. Junior Canucks tied up. A minute later, goals coming in bunches. Pretty move by Dr. Ray. Fakes the shot. Another call up. Tracker Dustin Bam gets this into the empty net as the Junior C is up 4 3, just like that. Stop me if you've heard this one before. 61 seconds after that, Tyler Crane from the point finds Twine. Dawson Creek takes a big 5 3 lead. Now about seven minutes left, Puffs with some life on the power player Anthony Ruggiero. Point blank makes no mistake, Huskies down by just one. Looking to tie it immediately after shots stopped, rebound waiting to get smashed in, but no, Ryan McDonald in the slot can't beat Anderson. Huskies been good on the power play, got a man advantage late, but a miss here, here, and here highlights the struggles they had on this night as the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks take down their rivals 5-4. Evening, the season series at one apiece. Couple guys with two point nights for the pups. Edwards pretty busy. Let in a couple softies though. Junior C's Geese and Ray been on fire lately. Anderson also let in a softie or two, but enough for the win. After the game, assistant coach of Fort St. John Todd Alexander credited Dawson for their strong play, but said his team was soft on the night. Guys in the locker room tonight to get the job done, and we didn't get it done tonight, period. In the third period, we tried to do two things. One, shorten our shifts, and two is to uh, get some more shots on goal. That was that was a, a big thing that we needed to address. I think uh, just coming in with confidence and like knowing that I can play against these bigger guys, and you know, my line mates are helping me out a lot, like Colton Gies and Jaden Peterson. Uh, Jaden I've known for a while because he's from down south too and you know I just like playing with them they get me the puck when I need it so that's what, kind of what's helping me score goals.